Hey juniors, here's a quick workshop on how to make sure you insert your graph cor uh, correctly and uh, labeled it properly into your research paper. So here's the graph, and you may remember the same graph from uh, when we did the journal on numeracy. And first thing, we want to make sure that it is not too big, that it takes up over half the size of my paper, and we don't want to make it too small, that it's too hard to read and to decipher the information. So looking at my ruler up here, I can kind of see right now it's between 3 and 7, which is about halfway of my paper. That says, why does I like it to be? I don't want it to take up so much text that my audience is focusing on the graph and not my writing. Okay, so it's a pretty good size. Next, I want to make sure I label it properly. And this is, this is kind of the tricky part. So you're going to go up to insert at the top and we're looking for a text box should be here within text at kind of the right hand side of your screen and we are going to select a simple text box do not worry about alphabet sidebar quote you know any of these we just want the simple plain simple text box I like to line it up first and then at the top we just want the title for our graph and we're just going to put figure one and we're going to title it scatter plot of success versus uh, length and there we go okay i'm going to take this down line it up looks pretty good okay now I'm going to add another text box, same place as before, insert text, text box. And now I'm going to line it up with the bottom. Don't worry if, you know, it's over the text <coughs> of your research paper, we'll fix that later. On the bottom, this is going to be kind of our credits. So you're going to put source, colon, and I'm going to put this in italics. Okay. You should have already MLA, you know, done your MLA citation and, and your work cited on your graph. So if I go down my paper to my work cited, which is in alpha, alpha format, I'm going to pull this is the resource where I got my graph. I am going to go back up and back to source. I'm going to paste it into here. And we do not need it to be in proper works cited format for the source. It doesn't even have to be center aligned or indented, anything fancy. It just needs to work. Okay. So pretty good. I can already see it's uh, it's kind of big, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. You can make the text as small as 10, even 9. Same thing with the uh, figure label at the top. Okay, great. Okay, most complicated thing about this whole process, besides putting the text box, is um, getting the text wrapped around all three objects. Okay, so really simple. I'm going to first click on my graph. And holding down the shift key, I'm going to select, oh, hold on. Uh, holding down the shift key, I'm going to select one of my other <coughs> um, text box and you notice when I selected this the uh, source box at the at the bottom it highlighted both the text box and the graph so I know that both are selected now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up the top because I want to do all three and I'm going to and you want to make sure that your cursor looks like that move so that it shows me I'm selecting the box and not the text now notice all three are selected that's fantastic I can let go of the shift key now and I'm going to right click on the text box or really anything and I want to make sure that when I right click and clicked that I still have all three boxes selected I'm going to go to grouping hit group and voila it is now one object so when it's selected it is not three separate ones it's not just the graph it is all three together and I am going to group it, or not group it, but text wrap it the same way I would do if it was an individual object. I'm going to go up to format at the top, 
make sure it's orange. Some of you are selecting inside the <coughs> inside the text box and look here. I don't have the wrap text option. So I recommend clicking on the graph portion where it says drawing tools. Now I can go to format and select tight for the wrap text. And I am good to go. Now let's say that you don't like your title. You should be able to click inside the text box still and edit it as you please. So that is to me the easiest way of inserting your graph. Some of you might want to experiment with uh, the snipping tool, um, doing a screenshot, setting up that way. I like this because I can still edit the text box after I've grouped my object. If you have questions, please let me know and good luck everyone.